everyone, my name is Carly Hamilton and I am back with you for another scrapbook layout process video. This one is another one for my Korea album and this is the 66th layout for 2014. So they're slowly creeping up, it's great. Today's layout, I wanted to start trying well, not new things, but trying to push myself to, to actually do more and different things on my layouts. I really feel like I need to start pushing myself with my scrapbooking. So for today, I decided that I wanted to use my um, modeling paste on a layout. Now, I've used uh, modeling paste heaps of times uh, in my art journaling, but this is the first time that I've actually used it on a scrapbooking layout. So I've decided to use my uh, Heidi Swap uh, stencil with the hearts and just my modeling paste that I got at my local art store. Um, it, mine's called Impasto Medium and, uh, and I just whack it on. And before I pull off the stencil, I decided that I want to put um, something on top of it. So I've gotten out my Heidi Swap Navy misting spray and I just uh, spray it on top a couple of times. I always have wet wipes um, at my desk because it makes it easier to clean things off um, especially messes and spills and stuff which I'm prone to do a lot. So once I've um, done that I'll leave it to dry. I don't actually have a heat gun so I have to do everything by air the all natural way. So while it's drying, I'm just matting my photos here and they are super crooked. I've stuck them down really crooked. Also my, um, my cutter was cutting terribly. It's just gotten to the stage where um, I had used it a lot. So I um, swapped around the mat. Um, if you have one like that, that's a cutter bee one I think. Um, it has like a little mat in it and you can um, use that mat four times. Um, like in four different directions so uh, I swapped it around and it started working normally again and this is where I've realized that the photos are really uh, not straight so I pull pull them off and I didn't manage to get that one off nice and cleanly but that's all right you don't see anything and that that looks pretty good to me here on the computer screen so I'm not very good I mean I never measure things now I wanted to use um, a bit of my scraps on this one. So this is my little document wallet where I keep all my red scraps. I'm having a bit of a flick through to see if I can find anything really good that I can use on this page. So I pulled out a couple of things and then I just try and play around with them to see if I can get something that I like. Now I, one thing that um, I, I'm recording voice over this from the future uh, the future of when I am making this layout. One thing I really want to do I think is become more intentional with my scrapbooking and maybe thinking out the process a little bit more before I start scrapping. Now here's a, a layout uh, where I really had no idea of what I was doing except for that I wanted to use modeling paste on it and I think in the end um, the layout turned out you know it's it's fine but it's not something that I, I really really love and I think if I'd taken some time well maybe I haven't tried it yet but maybe if I'd taken some time beforehand to think things through a little bit better then maybe I could have come up with a layout that's a little bit more cohesive looking um, I could have used up some more products or something like that I'm not sure but that's just something I want to try is to be a little bit more intentional with my scrapbooking. I think this layout is sort of the start of the change for my um, for this kind of thinking because I because as I said I want to I want to start pushing myself to using different products um, and to using different techniques instead of doing the same same old same old. So as you can see with this layout I decided to do a bit of folding up of the edges and I just used my metal ruler um, to help me fold up the edges. I'm still waiting for my background to dry. So I'm going through my box here full of all my reds, yellows and orange dimensional stuff 
and I've pulled out some buttons and things like that. And then these ones here are all my like die cuts and stickers, a whole heap of flat embellishments and I've pulled out a couple of things from that one as well. At this stage I really have um, no idea how this layout is going to come together. Uh, I'm just playing around. So this is an actual button that I um, was one of those spare buttons that would come with clothes and I cut off the um, back little bit there um, that allows you to sew it onto the page or you know onto your clothes um, so it lies flat. Now these are some really old Love Elsie stickers um, and it's been so long since I've opened up this packet that I was actually surprised that there were three um, sections to it. I'd I've forgotten that there were three. I only remember the, the front and the back whenever I looked at it. Um, so that was a nice pleasant surprise. So I'm cutting off a couple of uh, redder embellishments um, in the hope that I can use them on this page. Uh, I'd never actually ever used anything off this these stickers before even though I think they're from 1997, no, 2007 rather, 2007. Um, so I cut off a couple of things with the intention of finally starting to use that sticker sheet. I think that's the problem with um, hoarding. It, I loved, 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 loved that sticker sheet uh, when I first got it. But as you can see, I haven't used a thing from it and it's so not my style anymore. Now I'm cutting off some um, of this chipboard from October afternoon. Uh, and I really like cutting it away from the packet so I can move it around on the page uh, and see where it fits. So this thing is still drying but I'm impatient and I want to start um, laying out my layout to see um, how I'm going to put this together. I'd forgotten to um, cut off that the branding strip there so went ahead and cut off the branding strip. And doesn't that look really good? I, I love the way that the molding paste and the blue and everything turned out. That just looks gorgeous to me. And I don't want to cover it up. So as you can see, I, I've stuck down one of those um, Love Elsie stickers. And I put a bit of dimensional magic on the top to turn it into a bit of a epoxy sticker. Now I'm thinking that um, at the start you saw I had a whole heap of photos that I could have used for this one and I'm thinking that I want to um, have like a little small embellishment cluster or another little section on the page uh, with the smaller amount of stuff on it and I decide I want to use this photo um, which is a nice photo of um, this, this layout is for the um, palace in Seoul and this one's a nice shot of us walking up towards it. So again I fold up the edges there and I ink the edges as well with my Jumbo Java ink. I had a little strip of this um, like chevron paper left so I decided to add a little bit of a mat to um, the smaller photo as well. So there you can see how my um, layout is going to come together now. Um, so I go ahead and start sticking things down. The um, modding place still hasn't finished drying but as I said I'm impatient. Now I'm not really um, sure what I'm going to do with all these embellishments that I pulled out but I decided to stick down that um, it's another Love LC sticker just to tie them both in together and I also added a bit of dimensional magic to that as well and now I'm going to start adding my title to the page so I pull out a couple of different letter stickers that I feel like might go. I didn't really want to use the red stickers because um, it would be too much red. I decided to use these Jilly Bean Soup stickers um, because they go with the, the mist that I've put on. Now, if you know me, you know I don't measure. But I decided to try going from the center um, and working my way out. And this is a... Um, the Korean name for the palace and my Korean is awful, awful rather my Korean is really bad so please excuse my pronunciation here if you um, speak Korean but the name of the um, palace is uh, Gyeongbokgung Gyeongbokgung something like that 
And I, of course, didn't really, I like, I, I guessed where the center of the word was and I guessed badly. Um, I should have counted uh, <laughs> uh, because as you'll see, the front of the title um, isn't as nicely put as, as the, um, the back of the title uh, and it goes off onto the page a bit more. But that doesn't worry me too much. I, I think it looks better hanging over that way than it would if it was hanging over the other way. I like to use my tweezers when putting letters on. I find it much easier to position the letters uh, with the tweezers. So there you go. You can see that the, the um, title is hanging over. Um, yeah, I did a, a bad job of guessing where the middle of the word was. And now I'm trying to work out what on earth else I can do with the page. And I decided to stick a red geotag on the page. And I also use my dimensional magic to puff that up a bit. Uh, so it matches with the other embellishments. And that is where the video actually cuts off. But luckily it's uh, my layout's finished. So I hope you've enjoyed um, this layout video and that you got something out of it. Um, I know that this layout personally for me was a bit of a learning experience and even though I don't particularly love, love, love the end layout, I there are elements of uh, that I love and I am going to use on future layouts so look out for that. If you did get something out of this video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And also check out my new website. It's called createmess.com um, and there'll be more details about that coming soon. But thanks everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.